Have you ever wondered why your hamster doesn't do something in particular? Well, today we're gonna to be answering the most commonly Googled, why my hamster doesn't searches. The first question is, why doesn't my hamster use its wheel? If your hamster isn't using their wheel currently, the first thing you need to make sure is that it is a safe and correct sized wheel for your hamster. If you're using a wire or mesh wheel, these can be really dangerous as the hamster can get limbs caught, which can then lead to injuries, as well as they're more likely to cause bumblefoot. So you're gonna wanna ensure that you're using a solid running surface for your hamster. The next thing is that you're gonna wanna make sure that it's a correct size. The size of the wheel is extremely important because if a hamster's back is bending, this can cause back issues later in life. When your hamster is in its wheel, you're gonna wanna make sure that their back is completely straight when running. For dwarf hamsters, I wouldn't recommend any wheel smaller than eight inches. And for a Syrian and Chinese hamster, I wouldn't recommend anything smaller than 10 inches. In fact, it's more preferred that you stick with either 11 to 12 inch wheel. And fun fact, the bigger the wheel, the better. Even for the tiniest dwarf hamster, they have way more control over a larger wheel than they do a smaller wheel. Now, if you already have a safe and correctly sized wheel, it may just come down to personal preference. Not every hamster is going to want to run on a wheel. Some may prefer to do other hamster things like foraging and burrowing or just running around their enclosure. If you have a very, very large enclosure as well, some hamsters may not use the wheel as much as a hamster who has a smaller enclosure. So if your hamster doesn't use their wheel very much or at all, I wouldn't be too concerned unless your hamster goes from using the wheel every single night to then suddenly not using it all. I would then go ahead and see my local veterinarian in case something's wrong with them. Why doesn't my hamster like me? First things first, I don't think your hamster necessarily doesn't like you unless you've been teasing and abusing them, which then would be a different story. But your hamster may just not be used to human interaction. Keep in mind that the Syrian hamster has only been domesticated for 86 years and the Roboroski dwarf hamster has only been domesticated for 33 years. And domestication typically takes thousands of years of living alongside animals and selectively breeding them. So hamsters really are not the most domesticated animal. Yes, they are bred in captivity, but they're not going to be like a dog or cat who can be really friendly and get used to humans pretty quickly. Sometimes hamsters don't get used to humans at all and they just, they want nothing to do with you or any human. They just wanna be left alone. And that's, that's just how they may be. Hamsters can also be territorial, so if you have too small of a cage, they may just be trying to protect what's theirs if you're trying to stick your hand in the enclosure. If they're new to your home and you're trying to interact with them, they may just be scared. Hamsters are prey animals and their only defense really is biting. So if your hamster ends up biting you, it's, it's just their way of defending themselves and protecting themselves and their territory. Why doesn't my hamster drink water? Hamsters naturally come from very dry climates, so they've really adapted to being able to not drink nearly as much water as other animals. That being said, hamsters still need to drink water daily and they still have to have fresh water available to them daily. Hamsters are also nocturnal slash crepuscular, which means that you may not notice them drinking their water. They're likely gonna come out and drink water at nighttime. I find that my Syrian hamsters are more likely to drink at night, whereas my Chinese dwarf hamster tends to come out actually multiple times during the day to drink water. But I only know that because I have a little video camera inside of his enclosure. So then I'm actually able to see when he's drinking water. But if I didn't have that, I actually would have no clue if he was drinking or not, because I don't actually catch him drinking water really that often. Hamsters are small animals, so they don't have to drink very much every single day. So you're not necessarily going to notice your water dish or water bottles levels going down very much unless you've left the bottle or bowl in there for like weeks on end without filling it up. But you're not necessarily going to notice a slight difference day to day. 
So if you don't necessarily see your hamster drinking water, it doesn't mean that they aren't drinking. The best thing to do is just ensure that their water source is working correctly and that it's easy for them to access. If you need to offer a bowl of water as well as a water bottle if you are worried. I personally like using water dishes because they are easier to clean. They're easier for my hamsters to drink out of and get as much water as they want. As well as if you are paranoid, um, you can put in a video camera as I've done in my hamster's enclosures. I use the Waze V3 cameras inside of all of my hamster enclosures. And last but not least, if you're super worried that your hamster is not drinking, you can actually do a dehydration test on them. All you have to do is just hold them and then pinch the back of their neck skin and kind of just pull up and then let go. If the skin immediately goes back to normal, they're hydrated. But if the skin stays pretty peaked and only really slowly goes down, then that's a sign of dehydration. Why doesn't my hamster burrow? There could be many factors as to why your hamster just isn't burrowing like other hamsters are. The first thing is that you're providing enough bedding. A lot of the times if you're giving three or six inches of bedding, it's really not deep enough for your hamster to properly burrow. A lot of the times hamsters won't start burrowing until they have at least 10 inches of bedding, sometimes even more, and it has to be throughout the entire enclosure, not just a little box of it. The next factor is that maybe you're not using a bedding that is easy to burrow in. If you're using something like hemp shavings, these do not hold a burrow very easy and if tunneled into, they tend to just collapse. And if that's the case, you're gonna wanna try to find a bedding that is going to hold a burrow really easy. I personally like using paper bedding and this holds burrows really easy. Another thing is you're gonna wanna make sure that you're compacting the bedding when you're putting it into the enclosure. If you're just leaving the bedding as is fluffed in there, um, eventually the animal is going to walk on top of it and it's going to flatten to a small amount. So when you're putting the bedding in, you gotta make sure that you put it in there and then press down on it. That way when it's compacted, it's gonna hold good burrows. And lastly, your hamster may just not tend to burrow as much as other hamsters are going to. My hamster Dipper personally really doesn't burrow all that much, but that doesn't mean I don't have to give him a lot of bedding. A hamster could change their mind at any moment and maybe one day they just decide, hey, I, I wanna make a burrow today. And if they don't have that deep bedding, then they can't do that. So yes, even if your hamster doesn't burrow, they still need deep bedding. Why doesn't my hamster come out anymore? The first thing that could be causing your hamster to not come out is if something traumatic happened, maybe they got spooked by you and now they're just scared to come out when you're around. Now, if that's not the case with your hamster and nothing like that has happened and they just suddenly are not coming out anymore, I definitely would go ahead and book a appointment with your local exotic veterinarian so that you can get them checked out. Um, oftentimes a sign of illness is a hamster just staying in their nest. If they go from being active to suddenly not active, something could be off. And lastly, why doesn't my hamster stay still? Well, hamsters just have this natural instinct to always be on the move. There are going to be more hamsters that don't sit still than there are hamsters that do sit still. And of course, you're gonna come across a really cute hamster on TikTok or Instagram who likes to cuddle with their owner or just chill out and be held and pet. More times than not, they're not gonna be like that. They're gonna wanna run around. They maybe held, wanna be held for like a couple of seconds or just enough for you to transport them to a different area, but then they're gonna wanna run around. They're gonna wanna just explore and be a hamster. If you want an animal who is going to sit still, maybe look into a cat. So those are all the questions I'm gonna be answering today. Hopefully one of them has maybe answered any questions that you personally have had. And I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.